Hello, hello, welcome to yet another live modeling with Tangis. Today we are having our Jimmy here and we will be creating this. Of course, you hate it and love it at the same time. So, without further ado, let's proceed. Last time we had a raincoat, and today we shall start with the shirt's color. So, we've done that before, so this is gonna be hopefully fast. Shift A and add a circle G, Z, and move it down like this, okay? Number one on your keyboard, place the circle in the middle of the neck. That's basically where the color is gonna be. So tap to the admin mode, select everything if it's A, if it's not, scale it down like this. Scale it even more down. We want this shirt to be very close to the neck of ours today because we're gonna have that bow tie there. So I can see that in the front view or the of the Jamie here. We still don't have it kind of in the middle, so let's place it around this position. Perfect. Still in that edit mode. Select everything. E. Left click. S. Scale it out. Okay. Just a tiny bit. Let's say like this. Now we can now go to number three. E again. This happens. Z. Lock it in this axis and just drag it down like this. Okay, that's the start of our color. We can also just scale it up a little bit. So we're just gonna press S and scale it out, which is fine like that. Cool. Let's go inside. All we will do that later. Never mind. So I toggle on the X-ray view and. In here we can basically just delete these middle vertices basic oh we actually don't want it we only want these vertices to be deleted so just select those running shift x and delete it okay simple as that so now we have this beautiful beautiful color of ours ready to be designed so let's just adjust this a little bit so see how how nice it's gonna be so i'm just select those four vertices here s y and let's just scale them out a little bit okay doesn't really work that way so we're just gonna select those two s y and that should be enough Let's select those two S Y again as well. Let's just move it out like that. Okay. So now let's, this is just a base of our color. Shift A again, and now we're gonna create that color. So this time I think we can use easily a cylinder. Look at that, beautiful. Number three, G, Z, move it down. Tap to the edit mode. Off rotation, nine, zero, enter. Right, so this is gonna be the middle part that connects the tie and we can basically just scale it down. Perfect, so the idea here today is to make the bow tie quite, quite big so everyone will see it. So let's start with this size. Number one, scale and scale it in the x axis. Okay, cool. This is also good for the start. <clears throat> now we shall add a cube. Voila. Number three, G. Move it down like that as well. Tap to the even more, just scale it down. Okay, like that. Now we are making one of those wings of the bow tie. So tap out. Let's just move it so it's around this position. If you want to see how it works, let's go and add a modifier that it's gonna be the mirror. So just get it a modifier that's gonna be mirroring this cube here. And we shall mirror the object to be that middle part that we just added. Now let's tap to the end of this S, Y, and 
Okay. Still in that animal, toggle the x-ray view as for scale as Z and we shall just make it. Okay, let's keep it like this for example. Just an example. We can also select all as X if it's just way too wide and maybe it is. We shall see straight away after adding a, another modifier that is gonna be the subdivision surface so basically. This one tells, tells us that we still need to make some sort of modifications, right? Because look at this how it looks now. Okay, so we definitely will be adding a loop here. So Control R on your keyboard, add just one here in the middle. Then we're gonna add another one in the vertical line. Just left click and then drag it out to let's say this position, right? Look at that, it's already looking as we want, isn't it? And we shall also add another one here in the middle. And let's another loop. Let's add another loop and let's position that one around okay this place. It's not that important anyways, it's <laughs> just a bow tie, right? Isn't it? So the idea here is to really make this so it would fit exactly. So select everything. Right, no, let's just move it first. So G Y and let's move it inwards like that. Cool. Now tap to the edit mode as to scale. Or we can maybe scale just here as well. As Z and let's just now we need to do that in the X-ray view as Z. Let's move it so it's okay. Perfect. Coming out exactly from that middle part. The ties the bow. Okay, so this is already very nice if you add more of the levels here you can see that it's gonna just get more smooth so let's take this one as I'm just like everything as X just make this exactly slightly bigger so now I'm just scaling everything All right this is cool as X and just slightly inwards okay so I think this is perfect for the start Obviously, it's a little bit too big, but we can adjust it later. Let's just select both of the objects. Just place it around the place where we want the tie to be. And so here, so okay, I guess that this one is <laughs> really, really big, mm, I would say. So in here, of course, we can select it in this uh, object mode here, which we'll probably do. But first, let's add more details. So we're gonna select this bow tie. Shade it smooth first, also do that with the other one. Look at that, so cool. This one actually deserves to get also another modifier that is called bevel. This one will just slightly, but just really tiny bit of it. Okay, not that much. And then we can add more segments to make it smooth. Okay, so I guess that this is exactly what we wanted. That one also rounds the corners and Let's take the subdivision surface and apply it, okay? If we tap to the edit mode, we can see that the modifier got applied. So now it's totally a different mesh object that has all these details here. And the idea here is to make that detail of the bow tie. So, so it's looking a little bit like a club. So I just select those random points here. Maybe this one as well. Doesn't really matter. G, X, and just move it inwards, okay? Now you can see that we are sort of getting a structure here. And then let's select those three again. Maybe this one. G, X, and also just move it inwards just a little bit. To just get a little bit of the detail here. And here, I would suggest taking those four. So this is where G, X. This is exactly where I select those two. G, X. Move them inwards. G, X. See, that's where the tie is actually gonna be tied here so that's why there's this detail which is quite interesting we can keep it symmetrical why not and I would also get one of these here GX okay it's perfect I like the music today as well as usual <laughs> let's add another modifier it's gonna be the subdivision surface to make it even more smooth And this is fine perfect so 
I think it's time to scale everything down. So I guess we'll be just selecting both of the objects, tap to the edit mode of those, and let's see what happens. Okay, this happens, I see. You know what, then we'll just scale it out here in the object mode, which I usually don't recommend, but the situation here demands it. Okay, so I guess that this is This is cool. I'm just gonna have a little bit. <coughs> Hitting the mic as usual. And let's proceed. Okay, so the bow tie is quite nicely positioned here. So I think that this time we'll need to do something with the color. So let's shift alt, select everything. And now let's just G, G, Z, and G Z and okay. G Z and just drag everything down, okay, like that. We accidentally created a phase here, I believe, so I'm just gonna delete that. X delete only the face. And this is already very cool. Of course, so let's just jack it up a little bit. So we have more space here to work with uh, the whole body. So now let's select the inner in the circle here. We're gonna go with E, Z, and let's just extrude it down, okay? So this is the bottom part of the shirt. And now we actually want it to be connected. So um, I have selected those four vertices and now I'm just gonna press F. Okay, so now we got a face here that is quite important. Okay, I'm gonna go and select the loop down in the bottom. So that's gonna be S, uh, shift, uh, shift Alt holding, clicking on this edge here, which select all the, the whole loop and we're gonna scale it as well. Perfect. And we're just gonna scale it even more. G, Z, S. It was too much. The idea here is to get it so it would then seamlessly connect uh, to the shirt's body, okay? So now we're just gonna play with this color here. So I guess we're gonna go and select those three. G, Z, okay, like that. Let's try and use the Mirroring, modifying here. It's mirroring, editing, sorry. Let's select those three again and let's rotate it inwards like this, okay? Cool, this is exactly what we wanted. And I believe that every change here will also be reflected on the other side. Usually we would use that modifier there, but today we are not. You know, the mirror one. So let's G, X, and let's just move it outwards like this. It's cool. I just get an idea, but so so far this is would be this would be the shirt of ours. Let's shade it smooth first and let's also add a subdivision surface modifier to it. And it will also need a little bit of the solidify here so let's just give it uh, 0, 0, 0. always so thick and let's switch out yeah the I don't know how about you but I don't like the subdivision surface here so maybe maybe let's just try to add the bevel way better It's a little bit edgy, but I actually like it this time. <laughs> it doesn't allow us to, to make more 
and now we shall try to add the subdivision surface so it's always always a little bit of the work here and yeah, this is definitely not good it's not either so let's see making a little bit so let's just delete it and then we shall add another loop here okay so this is the loop on the side so let's just add the loop here and drag it down okay like that you see now, now that this corner here gets way more way more edgy and let's do that also with the inner part let's see if we can actually get there okay and then just drag it down as well like that okay this should be fine but it's just this solidify modifier is just now being a little off so i think we are fine with this aren't we yes we are perfect so that was a little disappointing sorry <laughs> And now we shall do the connection some other way. So let's S Y so connect, connect those two here. S Y and let's just move them together. S Y and let's move them together. So Okay, and now let's try to make that face there. Let's see what happens. Now we shall move these two vertices and move them down. GZ. How does it look in the render? Okay, this is actually quite cool. I like the color with the bow tie there looks quite natural i would say doesn't it okay cool so let's finish the rest okay nice so that's gonna be hopefully now easier <laughs> so let's just play with those two vertices maybe and Remember that I still have this Y editing on, okay. Which means that this we can do easily, okay. So now I'm just trying to connect that shirt to the body, so. We're getting some funny fragments here, but it's okay, that's only in the back, so. And just G everything down like that. Okay, those two as well. Okay, so this body will be actually the shirt's body as well. So that's for sure right now what's going to be happening. So let's see. We can place those here. Okay, I guess this is okay. Perfect. Now let's add a plane. G it down like this, 
number one go to the edit mode select everything s x and just get it done like this rotate it with the r now let's just place it on the body like that in the uh, object mode and now we shall s x yeah we can we can still scale it down a little bit like this number three s y and also scale it down that to the object mode and make sure that you place it here in the middle where the buttons will go yeah so i guess this is instructive let's give it also a solidify modifier so you would see exactly what's gonna happen here i'm still in the edge object mode by the way and we will proceed from here maybe just a little bit wider s x s y okay place it in the middle again okay so now the idea here is to go to the exterior uh, select everything and now we're just gonna extrude it alongside this body which will actually create the shirt so i'm just pressing e and then drag my mouse and i'm just left clicking on it again we've done this so many times that there are so many different ways how to make this but I just realized that maybe we can keep it simple today. I mean, when we don't, right? Look at that, okay. And the same we'll do with those two here. And we just connect to them in the direction of the shirt. So, okay, like this. Look at that. What a nice detail, okay, that's cool. This is basically it. Mm -hmm. Rotate the tie a little bit. Because we also need to rotate this a little bit. Okay, no. Small detail, okay. So the shirt is basically ready. Now we can of course add uh, also the tuxedo thingy on it. Let's also shade it smooth. And we also will be adding that bevel there. You can see now it, it's really, really nice looking. So you wanna quickly do it? Okay, let's do it in a very quick way, okay? I won't be hitting the mic. <laughs> I promise, but I did not it. So let me see. Okay, so basically we can do several tricks here. And today we will probably do it in the easiest way. So just shift A, and we gonna we gonna be adding. I thought of trying a different approach here today. So we're gonna be adding a circle. Now just move it somewhere so it would be in the middle of the body. So like this position definitely okay i think it was already in the exact middle but i just shift s cursor to the word origin delete this shift a and let's add again now it's perfectly in the middle g z put them like this and I'm just moving it so it's middle in the middle of the body. Let's tap to the edit mode S and scale it S X. It's important that you lock it in the X axis, by the way, just so you know. Let's do it one here. 
S Y and let's just start here. Okay. So now we got this sort of shape that now we will try to wrap around the body. And I don't know how it will go, but let's see. So the idea here is to extrude everything. Look in the Z axis and now just, just, let's just scale it. Okay. E again, S scale. E again. Now we can scale it inwards. Okay, so this was basically the idea. <laughs> so we can also create a body like this, right? Like, or maybe another piece of clothing. And obviously now, if I select the thing, shade it smooth first. And we also at the subdivision surface, we can see that we might get some fragments here. So that's easy to fix. We just kind of select those as and just get it out. Okay. Nothing really crazy. Select this loop here and try it. Let's see how much we can go inside. So it's always good to build the clothing in layers. Now we can select everything as X and just get it back in the X axis. Maybe like this. And now position it so it would cover. Okay, now you can see actually here we can actually see how much we need or how much we can allow. Okay, this is nice, isn't it? Now let's finish the neck here so it would just go perfectly around the neck. So Let's have that Y editing on again and let's GX GX. We want it to go around the neck, okay? Around, around the color of GY actually. GY again. GY and now let's just go easily around the neck. Okay. GY 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 Actually here we actually we don't want it to go that I think here the it can slightly starting to open. We know who it is with the color of all the okay of all the jackets or actually tuxedos. Right now it has to go like here. <laughs> so we obviously have some faces that we definitely I'm just gonna delete those vertices now I guess. Because why not? Definitely don't need this one, nor this one, nor this one, maybe that one. Okay, just I delete those vertices. Now let's slightly let now let's make it to the V shape. So now this is now called free editing, by the way. <laughs> too much so okay
So again, this is just a rough shape. Doesn't have to be precise again. You can see that we got some errors here, but that's fine. It's gonna be covered. So let's just make it solid. So what I would like to achieve today is to really have that You know <clears throat> like, like being really tight with the body so let's just s y and let's just get uh, x i mean let's see if it's even possible Just a little bit of the space here, so let's see if we can do something about it. So like everything G Z and just drag it down. About now, okay perfect. Let's select only those but this is here in the upper G. Also drag them down like that. Okay, I think that this is a reasonable distance of the of our beautiful beautiful tuxedo. Okay. So the last part that we're gonna be adding is Again, I just switch uh, the order of the solidified subdivision modifiers because it were creating some different funky things again. So I, I already love this by the way. Hopefully you also do. So let's just add a circle and let's just quickly make the color. Okay, geez, that we also have done that so many times. So let's just first in the middle here, select everything in the edit mode S and scale it down. Let us see. Alright, so now we're gonna delete some of the vertices here, and then again, those that we don't really need. Hmm, that was not that many. <laughs> so your thing as scale. So it was E, left click to extrude, and now we're gonna scale it out, okay? Number seven to the top view, and now we'll just be playing again. So I first will have. Okay, this place here this edge here needs to be connected basically perfectly with that color so let's select everything now we're just gonna take only a few of those so i'm just shift holding shift and then clicking on those that i selected so this way we deselect them now let's press s okay so it was again now we'll just now deselect those s deselect those two s just making sure that everything is correct. So again, S even more. Deselect those two. S just gonna be deselecting them one by one. S S then S G X and just move it forward like this. So like, okay, and I guess that this is already quite okay. Now we can toggle that 
X mirroring uh, Y mirroring editing and now let's just Okay, so we are quite confident about this, aren't we? Yes, we are. That's really cool. This is really cool. Select the inner one, G, and move it up. Okay. Okay, that's really nice. Now let's select. Well, basically, I'm almost positive here that we can do the mirroring, but... Yes, I think we should do that as a demonstration of good usage of the mirror. So, just going like those vertices and add the mirror modifier and toggle the y-axis. Now, everything we do here on the left will be reflected on the other side. So, select those two vertices. I think we want them to be also in the same level here, so I'm just gonna place it like this. Okay, this is how it looks. And let's see the, this view here. I think I'm gonna scale it a little bit in the y axis. Yes, exactly like that. Okay, this is very nice. So now let's just extrude them, both of them I mean. Oh, we were doing that already, so this is how it looks. We're just gonna extrude them so we could again go basically precisely around the tuxedo. So this we've done before. Let me see how it looks from the front view. Okay, we will probably, most likely, be making all the way, almost all the way down, okay? Now let's select those vertices and now let's just place them a little over the edge. So now I'm basically just using G and move the vertices all around. This is definitely not any not a rocket science at all. Now you can see that it's pretty edgy. Let's add a subdivisions. Everything is now super smooth and now we can just make sure to make our colors smooth and I would say representative, right? <laughs> I want to make it this one, okay. Look at that, my friends. Right along it and shady smooth. How beautiful is that? Okay, so basically here we have a huge space. Huge blank space, so let's just fix that. And the, of course, X-ray view. Let's just place it down like that. I think in here we can also do that, and we should be doing that. Will be more close to the actual. Okay. Fixing a little bit of the 
tuxedo edge here even though we, we knew that it won't be that important but let's just okay like that so just really hide it so it wouldn't be bothering us there at all okay this is very very nice also give it a solidify and let's also change the order again as usual what happens if we make it really really thick okay I see perfect I just did the solidify operation or we just did the minus <laughs> What happens if we okay? Let's try the bevel as well. Okay. Interesting. So obviously we also would need to make some adjustments here. So let's just select those where this is here and we're gonna go with proportion editing adjust the level of influence g z and let's just drag it down like this Look at that. Look at that, my friends. A beautiful tuxedo with a bow tie. So it took a little bit of time today, I guess, more than we wanted, but I really wanted to make nice. So thank you so much for following, being here again. Have a great day and time is.